Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I hope that you are having an absolutely fantastic day. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Ashley. Welcome. If it's not your first time here, well then welcome back. Today, I have a Sephora haul. It is one of my favorite videos to film, to watch. I just love shopping. In my most recent Try to Get Ready With Me, I spoke all about my experience spending two weeks at a horse show in Georgia, and I decided when I got home, I deserved a little bit of a Sephora shopping spree. So today you're gonna see the fruits of that labor. Before we get into the haul, double check, make sure that you are subscribed and go down below and enter my monthly giveaway. You could win a $250 Sephora gift card, so you could have your own haul on me. So there's a lot of stuff here. I'm not really sure where to start. So let's start with lip products. So I picked up quite a few lip products. Every year, I feel like as seasons change, the first thing that I start thinking about are new lip options. So I picked up quite a few lip products. So first up, I picked up this lip liner. This is from Makeup Forever. This is the shade 19C. I don't do they just do numbers? I don't think they do names, but this is a nice berry red. I picked this up because I love berry lips when we get into fall and especially into holiday. I just needed a berry lip liner. I don't have many. I think I have the Walk of No Shame one from Charlotte Tilbury, and that's the only one I think I really currently have in my collection. So I needed a good all-purpose berry lip liner, and that is the one that I picked up. Keeping with the berry tones, I picked up two berry-ish colors um, from YSL, both in the Rouge Volept Shine formula. I really love this formula. If you've never tried them before, it's a lipstick, but it has a little bit more of a sheer color coverage, and the finish is shiny, like the name says, so I really love these. So the first shade I picked up is Rouge Cape. I just fell in love with this shade when I was looking on the Sephora website. It's a really nice berry red, and it leans more towards the red than the berry side, so I really like this, especially because it does have that more sheer formula. I feel like it's a red that I can get away with wearing when I don't want to devote the time to like, you know, a very like detailed, like bright red shade. I can just kind of, you know, do a nice lip liner and put this on and give myself like that red flush without having to fully commit to a red lip. So the second shade that I got is Burgundy Love. It's right here. Oh my gosh, this is just a really nice true berry tone. I really am looking forward to wearing this one. Like when we get closer to probably Thanksgiving, I feel like that's when I'll probably pull this one out. Both of those lipsticks I feel like will go really well over the lip liner I picked up. So that's kind of where my head was at when I was picking those out. The next lip product I picked up is from Laura Mercier. This is one of the Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks. I'm kind of surprised I picked this up, but in my mind, I was thinking that it's like a luxury version of that Revlon Stay Ink Crayon that I just absolutely adore. So I thought, let me try one out. And I really liked this color. It's Dominate is the color. It's just a really nice red and it's definitely a blue toned red. So it's definitely cool. So I feel like that will be a nice red for me. And I'm hoping that the formula is really similar to that Maybelline one that I like. The last lipstick I picked up is actually moving away from the berries and into more of like that kind of brown tone. Oh my God, you guys, it broke. Oh, I absolutely hate when that happens. There is nothing more frustrating to me. So this is gonna have to go back and that's really annoying because I've been looking forward to this shade. It's like a pinky brown. This is Pigale from NARS. So you can see it kind of has like that brownish rose tone. I really like that for fall. That's probably like the only time I wear shades like this that have kind of that like brownish undertone to them. And oh, I was really looking forward to this shade. So I'm kind of sad that this happened, but this little guy, he will have to go back. Oh, I forgot, I actually have one more lipstick. It's not really a lipstick, it is the Lip Fetish Sheer Color Lip Balm from Pat McGrath. I picked up the shade, what is the name of this one? Love Supreme, number 622. It's right here. It's just a nice pinky rose balm. Of all the balms that she had, I had a hard time because there were several shades of this and I kept going back and forth about which one I wanted to try. I definitely wanted to pick it up because again, I feel like it's somewhat similar to the Rouge Volup Shine from YSL and that it's just a nice like kind of glossy lipstick that you can put over a lip liner and get kind of like 
a nice like sheer coverage and it just feels very fresh so i really like that look a lot of the time so that's why i definitely wanted to pick this up and this was the shade that i settled on because i felt like it would go with the most lip liners and i'm pretty happy with it that's definitely like a nice true rose Rounding out the lip category, I did pick up a couple glosses. So the first one is this Tower 28 Milky Lip Jelly. I picked up the shade Coconut. The reason I was drawn to this is because it called itself a milky like lip gloss. I love milky lip glosses. I like sometimes to have kind of like that milky layer just to mute down a lipstick. I don't know, I just am drawn to that a lot of the time. So this is Coconut and it's, you know, a nice just pretty pink right there it is it definitely does have that milky quality to it it reminds me I think you know like the whole concept of milk glass like the glass that's like it's milky it just kind of like mutes things down I don't know I'm really drawn to that when it comes to lip glosses sometimes so I really hope that I like this formula because I definitely like what it's saying it's gonna do and then the second lip gloss I picked up is from bite this is the yay sayer plumping lip gloss I picked up the shade guava puff it looks again like that kind of milky but like a coolish pink now I didn't realize it's one of the twist up versions I'm so not a fan of that function but maybe I'll like the formula enough that I won't mind having to click up forever to get it out. This is what I don't like about these is the first time you use it, it's like you just don't know. Oh, finally I got some. Oh my God, that looks so pretty. I wonder if it's gonna tingle my hand. So it's right there. Oh man, my hand is kind of tingling a little bit where I put that. <laughs> so it probably, Probably is gonna tingle on the lips. That's crazy. It smells like root beer. Not kidding. Hmm. I feel like I should stop saying that we're gonna finish the lip category because I keep finding more lip products I picked up. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I picked up the limited edition Lemon Sorbet. I love Laneige, Laneige, Laneige. I still don't know how to say it properly. I love them. I love the lip sleeping mask and I love citrus. So I thought, hey, this is something I wanna get. Mm. And it does, it smells like citrus. Oh, so excited to try that. All right, let's move on to eyes. First off, this is the Dior Brow Styler. I get the blonde shade. This is a repurchase. Uh, my one is kind of like I'm getting down to like the end of it. So I went ahead and picked up a new one because I use this almost daily and I would be really sad if I ran out and didn't have a replacement ready to go. I also picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Rose Gold. I had this and I don't know what happened to it. I love this shade and I was wanting to use it with the Walk of No Shame collection, but then I realized, oh, I can't find it. So I picked up another one. It's just, it's such a, like, I think this one is like sold out almost all the time because it is so beautiful and I love this formula. It's just a fantastic cream shadow. You can wear it on its own. You can wear it under powder shadows. It works really well that way, which all cream shadows don't. So that's what I love, I think, most about the Eyes to Mesmerize is that I can use it under powder shadows and it sticks and stays beautifully and most powder shadows look really nice on top of it. I also picked up a cream shadow stick from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Bark. It's this nice, beautiful, deep brown. I just didn't have a cream shadow this dark of a brown and I felt like it's something that I would really enjoy using for fall. So I went ahead and picked one up. I don't know why I just keep putting my hand in your face. I just want you to be able to see. <laughs> Some more little cream shadow sticks. I picked up this Stargazer Mini Caviar Quartet from Laura Mercier. Now this came with four different shades in it and I know for a fact that I already own one of them, but this is my favorite thing about it. Look at this. This box, how nice is that? It's got a little magnet and everything. That is nice packaging. So the shade I already own is Amethyst. I own Intense Amethyst, but it comes with these other shades as well. Intense Rose Gold, Magnetic Pink, and All Natural. So I already have Intense Amethyst, but these other three were shades that I was all really interested in picking up separately. I have like a little list of like 10 different uh, caviar stick shades that I want to purchase. So when I saw that three of them were in this little set, I thought, uh, yeah, let's do that because I doubt I will use full size caviar sticks anytime soon. So this for me was a good deal just because I could get all three of these in a smaller size. 
I also picked up a pro crease blending brush from Sephora. I really like their pro collection brushes. All the ones I've tried, I found to be really good quality. So this is number 19 and I went ahead and picked it up because I just thought, hey, why not try out one of their eye brushes? I haven't really used their eye brushes. I've mostly just used face brushes from them. Um, and I just thought, wow, let's try it. Moving on to face, I picked up the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. I love the Luminous Silk Foundation and I thought, mm, let's try the primer. So went ahead and picked this up. I, especially when we get into fall and winter, I start leaning more towards hydrating primers and just needing a little bit extra hydration, especially when I'm putting makeup on because I do have dry skin, normal to dry skin, I would say, most of the year, but then when we get into like really cold weather, I start to get drier. So I just need all the help I can get. And I thought, hey, let's try this one out. It says hydrating, we shall see. So I also picked up the Laura Mercier Prime Perfect and Set set. Uh, the way this works is that you pick out your shade of tinted moisturizer in the formula you like. So I picked up the Natural Skin Perfector in the shade 2N1 Nude. And for the same price that you would normally get this, $47, you also get this little bag, which listen, I love me a makeup bag. I have so many makeup bags, it's insane. Uh, but not only do you get the bag, you also get a small size of their primer. This is the Pure Canvas Hydrating Primer. And you get a little mini of their translucent setting powder, which, you know, everybody swears by this stuff. So I'm excited to try it. I think I have tried it once before as a mini, but hey, you can never have too many minis. At least I can't. I've actually never tried the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Crazy, I know. It's such a cult favorite. I've heard such lovely things about it, and I've never tried it because I think I've always been turned off of the, just the wording tinted moisturizer because I think for so long I thought, well, that's not enough coverage for me. But now that I'm older and I am tending towards lighter coverage foundations, I think I'm wanting to try more tinted moisturizers. So I decided it is time to try it out. So basically outside it's sunny and then there's just like random clouds that just keep moving through. So my lighting keeps changing and I apologize for that. The sky is just not wanting to cooperate with me today. So, okay. I got suckered in to picking up this little fragrance trio from Replica. I've never used these before, but the names of these little fragrances got me. So this is the Replica and it says, Reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. Well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> so the three in here are Jazz Club, Whispers in the Library, and By the Fireplace. Those all sounded so fall to me that I just couldn't resist. I was like, um, yes, yes, please, let me get into it. I'm very interested to see what Jazz Club smells like. I love jazz, especially in the fall and for Christmas. I We'll listen to like the autumn jazz playlist and then I'll go into Christmas jazz. It's just, I don't know, for me it's so relaxing. It reminds me of being like in a hotel bar. <laughs> I have like this soft spot for hotel bars. I think because for the first two years of our relationship, my husband and I had a long distance relationship. And so I think like three weekends a month, we would be traveling somewhere together so that we could like meet up and be together. Uh, and so we had a lot of dinners and happy hours in hotel bars and, there's almost always some jazz going on. So yeah, I love me some jazz. <laughs> I'm gonna spray this one. This is the only one I'm gonna try out today. Sorry, I just, I can't do too many scents at once. I wanna really focus on this one. Oh my gosh, I love this. It smells very like unisex. It's very warm, a touch spicy. <sighs> It smells almost, it's basically it smells like a guy's cologne. I love perfumes that smell like men's cologne. <laughs> It actually reminds me a little bit of the green polo, like the original green polo. That's the uh, scent that my dad wore my whole childhood. So that scent always reminds me of my dad. I absolutely love that cologne. I love it so much. I can't wait to try the other ones because that Jazz Club one smells delish. I have never tried this brand before, but hmm, I am very excited about this. All right, last but not least, I picked up a couple hair care products because who would I be if I wasn't trying new hair care? I, I don't even know who I would be. My name's Ashley and I have this weird habit of just constantly buying new shampoos and conditioners. It is who I am. So this shampoo has so many positive reviews that I thought, okay, I have to try this. This is the Shu Umera Urban Moisture Hydro Nourishing Shampoo for dry hair. Is my hair dry? I 
don't know. I feel like my hair is kind of, uh, um, it's just processed. I don't know that it's really dry, but this had a lot of good reviews and I thought, well, my hair certainly isn't not dry. So let's try it out. So I'm just, I'm on the bandwagon. I'm gonna try it out. And then the second thing I picked up from Shu Amira again is the Color Luster Brilliant Glaze Treatment for color treated hair. It says that it's a glaze treatment for color treated hair. I have color treated hair. I would love a glaze treatment. The marketing got me. It just, it always happens. I fall prey to it. I just, I'm a creature of, of habit. I can't help it. All right, you guys, so last but not least, here it is, the Dyson Airwrap Complete. I got the Copper Gift Edition. Oh my God, this thing is so crazy heavy. So you can see, oh my gosh. I know, it's so expensive. We are gonna find out if it is really worth it. We're gonna see. I have wanted this for a while, but here's the crazy thing. I didn't like the colors. Um, they have like on Sephora, they have a like a fuchsia one and on the Dyson website, they have fuchsia and red. And it just like, I don't know. I was like, I, I just feel weird spending like $600 on something and it's like bright pink, you know? I'm more of like a neutral, soft pink, you know, soft colors. So when I saw this one, with the copper, I was like, okay, yeah, that's, I can get behind that. And then it just so happened that my Revlon One Step Styler kind of started to go on the fritz. And I thought, wow, the timing is right. So I picked it up. Like I said, we are gonna find out if this is really worth it. So I will do a full video on this guy, but I got the complete set. So you can see it comes with the base. Oh my God, this thing is really heavy, you guys. It comes with the base, the pre-styling dryer, a 1.2 inch air wrap barrel. Oh, okay, so I guess two. Okay, I think it comes with the, sh like, cause there's like two directions. So you get two 1.2 inch air wrap barrels, 1.6 inch air wrap barrels. I feel like I'm holding this so awkwardly, but it really is heavy. A firm smoothing brush, a soft smoothing brush, and a round volumizing brush, which I think will be the one that I most like, but we will see. And it all comes in this nice, oh my God, this case. This big case and then this little case. I don't know what everything's for. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out in a video at a future time because this is just, I'm, I'm still overwhelmed by it. And I've had it here for like a week and I haven't taken it out of the box yet because I'm just a little bit still overwhelmed because I know I'm gonna have to like learn a whole new like blow drying system, styling system. So I just, I need a little bit of time to process. I don't know, I'm weird sometimes. I really have to like, if I get something new like this, I really have to set aside the time to like fully process and like get used to it. I don't like to be rushed. So I haven't broken it out yet to dry my hair, but like I said, I will do a full video on it so that we can all find out together, did I waste $600 or not? <laughs> You guys, I'm so in love with the scent. I just realized there's definitely like a hint of tobacco, like a note of tobacco in there. I think that's why it's reminding me so much of my dad. It smells like polo green mixed with tobacco. Oh, I love it. My husband is gonna hate it. <laughs> it's okay, he'll adapt, he'll adjust, he'll be fine. All right guys, that is it for the Sephora haul. Let me know in the comments below which of these products would you like to most see reappear here on this channel. I'm definitely looking forward to using these lip products. I'm just, oh my gosh, so excited about these fall colors. I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, you can always chat with me in the comments below or over on Instagram. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye.